Adriana Estimia, and I work with the International Finance Corporation, uh, part of the World Bank Group. And I'm from Washington, D.C., uh, because that is where I live and work. But originally, I'm from Romania, and I'm a trained geophysicist converted into a social development specialist. So this is what I do. I'm, I'm actually very supportive to, to this type of dialogue and I'm, I'm, I'm very glad to see this happening because I think when we, when we talk about artisanal and small-scale mining, um, a multi-stakeholder uh, solution and dialogue and identifying roles and responsibilities of various stakeholders uh, is very important. Um, we cannot just ask one of the stakeholders to, to resolve all the issues. So it has to be a dialogue and it has to involve everybody and be open to actually change. And when I'm, I'm talking about be open to change, I'm, I'm talking about um, companies be open to work more with the artisanal and small scale miners, but at the same time, the government being open to provide more extension services to, to the artisanal and small scale miners and, and basically creating the, the framework for artisanals and small-scale miners to, to, to move to the next level yeah. and not just stay where they are today and, and, and facing the, the issues they, they yeah. are facing today. And I, I see, in a way, I see a future for artisanal and small-scale mining um, where the, the artisan and the small-scale miners, which are now operating in, in very uh, primitive uh, conditions and semi-mechanized or no mechanized and, and basically um, being sometimes ex exploited by uh, some businessmen or, or other people who will just finance the business but give them enough just to survive day by day mm -hmm. to, to move to a more structured um, business and move from maybe um, becoming like small businesses that will grow up and have the potential to, to actually provide a sustainable living and sustainable um, development uh, uh, around the, the communities. So yeah. it's, it shouldn't stay at the level of being just a, a livelihood and being just a subsistence activity and we should move towards um, economic and, uh, and, and growth. Recognition of the sector because um, it can bring actually lots of economic um, uh, gains to, to a country. Um, at the same time, I would like to see um, as part of the recognition also um, support and uh, support from all various stakeholders, um, from the government in terms of extension services, so helping the miners to understand um, the environmental and social aspects and train them to, mm -hmm. to use uh, less harmless um, processing methods, um, uh, maybe helping um, understanding the, the geological data or, or and I would, I would like to see also more collaboration between um, large-scale companies and uh, artisanal miners so they can uh, cohabitate yeah. together, but cohabitate in, in... I don't want to see the things continuing in silos. So mm -hmm. I, I, if, if, as I, I mentioned at the beginning, if there is a solution, it is a multi-stakeholder solution. And it, everybody has to play a role. And um, everybody has to, to have some responsibility. Um, I, I don't think that one party should address everything, I think. And if you, if you look at artisanal mining as an activity that um, is actually more like a livelihood than, than um, a business, mm -hmm. uh, uh, until it will become a business, then the, the government has a very strong role to, to play in that uh, as their representatives and citizens' pro protection. 
I chose um, the, the government capacity, yeah. which I think it's very important to be addressed. And um, I think that um, there is a lot to be done on, on this space. And I chose also the, the legal rights. Uh, right, okay. uh, because I believe that formalization will not be enough as long as um, uh, the artisanal or the small scale miners will not have um, will not have their own legal rights mm -hmm. over minerals. And I actually enjoy very much the discussion earlier, you know, talking about the rights because yes, there are many other rights that should be respected and, and they should basically have access and, and, and um, take advantage of. In, in most of the countries, um, land ownership is, is customary and it's mm -hmm. collectively. Um, so, but people don't benefit. Then uh, if we look at to whom the mineral resources belongs in, in most of the countries, mineral resources belongs to the people or, or to, the, to the respective country. Yeah. So if there is a possibility to actually build up the, the sector and, and make it uh, functional and effective, and, and give um, alternatives to people and, and job opportunities. And there are mineral exploration and exploitation needs also very advanced technology and, and needs commercial mining. Um, but I think that um, there is an opportunity for both mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. to coexist, at least for the time being, because yeah. probably once economy diversify and then more opportunities for, for jobs and for, for uh, income generation um, are coming into a country, then um, the, the two sectors will, will kind of balance mm -hmm. themselves and, and eventually um, um, they will be more structured in, into what they need to do. That's a very long term. Um, it's, it's probably it will it will happen in, in many years from now. For for the far, for short term and medium term, I think that starting with recogni uh, recognizing the the ASM as a as a valid um, uh, activity and and um, bringing more legal no, not necessarily legal but having the Having this um, high on the top priorities of the government agenda and, and other, you know, that that will will help actually yeah. the, the sector. Yeah. And uh, as I said, I, I believe in in multi-stakeholder solution. I believe that um, each of the stakeholders can play a role and and as long as you can define these roles and responsibilities and, and follow on, mm -hmm. on them, that may be something that will work uh, quite well in, in a maybe medium term. And I like the idea of the dialogue. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure there will be a lot of challenges mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure that there will be a lot of pushback from, from some of the parties and at the same time, um, I'm pretty sure that a lot of opportunities will be identified.